like salmon? What do salmon mean to you? Do you or does anybody you know fish for salmon? For fun? Or for a living? Do you eat salmon? Ever had smoked salmon? Now imagine a world with no salmon. Salmon aren't just important to people. They are important to other wildlife as well. Think of a bear catching a salmon in a river. How do salmon live their life? They start off their life cycle as eggs in freshwater streams like our very own Chimicum Creek. Alone in their red, or nest, they grow. Be careful when walking in a creek. Stepping in a red can kill many of them. Animals walking through can also kill many eggs. Once they hatch, they still have part of their egg sac attached so they can feed. That way they will not have to hunt for food. They can stay near the red and grow some more. These alvin are very small and very fragile. They can be eaten by animals or like eggs stepped on and crushed. Once they've used up their egg sac, they are ready to leave their red and begin to hunt. They are brave young baby fry. Tiny benthic macroinvertebrates, or little bugs that live at the bottom of creeks, make a great food source for these fry. Yum! But they aren't safe at this stage either. Certain animals find salmon fry to be a tasty treat. Once they get a little bigger, they get these marks called par marks. That shows that they are maturing. No longer babies, they are now teenagers. They are smolts, also known as finger legs because they grow to human finger size along the way. This is a big smolt. This is the time in the salmon's life when she will make her way to an estuary. That's the point where the river meets the salty ocean. The water there is a mix of fresh and salt. The smolt will stay until her gills get used to the salt water. Once her gills are used to breathing oxygen from salt water, she will make her way to the sea for her biggest adventure. There she will stay up to three years, growing very big indeed. Of course, this is still a dangerous time for salmon. Until they grow big, they are still tasty treats for bigger fish. Of course, once they get big, they are perfect for fishermen. Once the salmon reaches the end of her life, she will make her way back to her estuary and then go upstream back to the very spot where she was born to spawn and start the life cycle all over again. Once she lays her egg, she will go off to die. And guess what? Those same little benthic macroinvertebrates, the little bugs that fed her as a fry, will now feed on her decaying corpse. They will get nice, big, and plump because when her eggs hatch and become fry, they will feed on the bugs that fed on her. I know, it's all a cycle.